When you step into the Music House Museum in Acme, you step back in time to the tune of old-time automated pianos, phonographs, radios, and organs. One organ in particular is getting some extra attention, as well as a tune-up from a father and son team of experts who traveled halfway across the world from Belgium to northern Michigan to fix it up. Nestled high above the rest of the Music House Museum is the treasured showpiece organ Amaryllis. The Amaryllis was built by Belgium organ maker Mortier in 1922 before finding a home in Acme in 1981. And through its complex pipes and percussion instruments, it can produce the sounds of a complete orchestra. The face is decorated with oil paintings, gilded domes, and hand-carved rosewood, making it practically irreplaceable, one of a kind. The very top of it is a picture of a painting of his daughter, and she has an amaryllis in her hair, and so that's where the name came from. So, but his daughters were featured on many of the organs. Um, all three of them are on this one as well. They just traded off who got to the top spot. <laughs> it now lays in pieces, being restored by Johnny Verbeek and his son, the fifth and sixth generations of an organ-making family business that spans 125 years, even working directly with Mortier. I can do this blindfolded nearly to put this back together. It weighs 5,000 pounds and measures 18 by 30 feet, filling this space not only with its massive structure, but also melodies that have entertained since the 20s. They were, they were replacing all the valves, all the leather that's in it that, uh, that needs to be replaced, and there's just from aging, there's some cracks that they're gonna try, they're gonna fix the cracks so that, so that the air, when it goes through, it goes through, it goes to where it's supposed to, rather than it's been sliding over, so they'll play two notes when it's only supposed to be playing one note, and, and say, okay, that's not quite right. <laughs> The Verbeeks work long days building new parts or restoring the originals so together all the pieces will function in perfect harmony. It's the heart of the organ if you don't have, it's just like with human people, if you have no lungs, you, it's difficult to, <laughs> to, to live. It's the same thing with the organ. Like, like with humans, you, you can go to hospital and we, we, are, we are the doctors over here for the instrument. Only a handful of original Mortier dance hall organs survive and even fewer are on public display. It will take the Verbeeks four weeks to get the organ to sound as good as it looks, but when it does, the Music House Museum will play it daily on their tours. It's always when we do a job, we finish it off. If we say four weeks, then we finish it in four weeks. And we go out when it's playing back like it was playing when it was new. So sometimes it's a little pressure, but we can live with it. <laughs> and through the Verbeek's work, the Amaryllis will play on and on. The Amaryllis was built for a music hall in Belgium where it entertained guests for years before being brought to a private collection in the United States in 1967. Now the founders of the Music House Museum had to hunt it down to that collector's barn in Ohio and it's been their centerpiece ever since. And actually no one ever even bothered to measure the balcony where the Amaryllis was going to be placed so there are only three inches of clearance between the top of the organ and the old hay rail in the ceiling. If you would like to donate to the restoration efforts of the organ, you can go to musichouse.org and click on the donations tab. If you'd like to see the organ in action, you'll have to wait a few more weeks until it is finished and put back together at the end of this month.